Would you like to take this opportunity to clear this up, that you didn't mean in any way to compare a democratically elected government, no matter that it holds a different view to yours, with the criminals who run Dash ISIL? At no stage did I make that comparison. I'm disappointed that uh, that reference was made by the chief rabbi or anybody else. What Shami Chakra... The comparison. Can I never said that in a sentence. No, I didn't say that. Can I complete the answer? What Shami Chakrabarti says in her report, and I endorse, is that because somebody is Jewish, they shouldn't be expected to have special knowledge or support or opposition to the State of Israel and its activities any more that somebody who is a Muslim should be expected to have special knowledge, support or condemnation of the government of, say, Saudi Arabia or Iran or Pakistan. And it would be wholly wrong. But you have never made that comparison. The, I said, Islamic states, lowercase. It would have been better with hindsight, and many things are much better with hindsight, as every one of us around this table is well aware, if I'd said Islamic countries rather so than So you did make the comparison states. that it could have been better if you hadn't used those words. I, if I Mr. Used, Chakrabarty, there is no need to if nod I'd, at the If back. I'd used the word Islamic countries, there would have been no doubt whatsoever. I'm disappointed that some people decided to uh, say that I'd made an equation. I had not made an equation. So you I never do said not those words? A, I, absolutely. I do not make an equation in, in that way. As far as I'm concerned, the um, activities of um, ISIS, ISIL, Daesh are wholly wrong and wholly unacceptable. Secondly, at that press conference, you failed to intervene when one of your Labour MPs, a Jewish Labour MP, Ruth Smith, was accused by a momentum activist of working hand-in-hand with the Daily Telegraph, and she left that press conference in tears. Do you wish you had intervened as leader of the party I wasn't, to stop to be, that? To be quite honest, I wasn't aware that she had left at that stage, and um, the remarks made by Mark Wadsworth, which... Um, were along the lines that she had been working, I think, hand in glove with the Daily Telegraph, um, were inappropriate and wrong. He did make a, another point, which was a reasonable one, about concerns over levels of black representation within the party. I answered the points on black representation within the party. Shami absolutely, and I totally support what she said, uh, criticised the way in which he had made the other remarks concerning Ruth Smith. In 2009, you shared a platform with Hezbollah at an event where you describe them and Hamas as your friends. Are they still your friends? The language I used at that meeting was actually here in Parliament and it was about um, encouraging the meeting to go ahead, encouraging there to be a discussion about a peace process. Oh, you specifically, can I, can I do, you still, do you regard them as your friends? No, I, it was inclusive language I used, which with hindsight I would rather not have used. The general point so I So you make, regret using those words that they are your I friends? I regret using those words, of course. And they're and no I've longer your friends? I've done so on many occasions.